Hello and welcome back to Growing Up in Scientology. So in today's video, we're going to talk a bit about Clearwater, Florida. We're going to talk about some recent developments around town. And I think the first big headline that I want to mention is Tom Cruise is moving to Clearwater. This was reported a little bit ago, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago. Um, the, uh, the, the construction, construction is almost complete on the giant um, penthouse. Well, construction is almost complete on the condo tower that where his giant two-story penthouse is going to be located. And um, this condo, this condo tower, it's right smack dab in the in the middle of downtown Clearwater. Um, he's got the top two floors. I think there's a link to a video that was taken recently. Uh, a guy managed to get a tour of the uh, space that's under construction, and he took a video and he posted it online. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description down below if I can dig it up. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, you know, I think it's a positive. Clearwater is kind of a small town. It's kind of a quiet town, and I think having a a big old movie star living here uh, should have some sort of positive effect. Uh, maybe we'll get our own TMZ field office or something cool like that. Um, but the other big second headline that relates to this, and I'm going to explain why, is that uh, David Miscavige, the head of Scientology, is in the process of trying to con the mayor and the city council into giving up a large piece of downtown waterfront land to the church. Uh, this is a piece of land that is very important to the city for redevelopment efforts it's working on for the waterfront area and for the downtown area. Um, and, and it's an integral part of the plan, and the church is trying to con the city into giving this land up. Um, and I live in Clearwater, and I really do hope that this video somehow makes it to the members of the city council and to the mayor, because I'm not totally sure they're aware of how they're being conned, and I'm not totally sure they're aware of uh, Tom Cruise's uh, role in this equation. So there's a little bit to unpack here, and uh, we're going to do it as quickly as possible. So uh, first, very quick orientation to Clearwater. Um, for the Church of Scientology, so the international management offices and the middle management offices for the church, th those are located in California. But the biggest Church of Scientology is located all the way on the other coast here in Clearwater, Florida. Uh, Scientologists call this church, they just call it FLAG. That's just what it's called. We won't get into why. It's just called FLAG. And FLAG is supposed to have the best Scientology auditors anywhere in the world. Scientologists from all over the world come to FLAG for auditing. Um, auditing is just Scientology's uh, version of counseling. So because FLAG is the most important church of Scientology, uh, David Miscavige, the head of Scientology, uh, he gives FLAG a lot of special attention. He spends more time at FLAG than any other church in the world, obviously, and, and FLAG is basically his baby. So because FLAG is the biggest church of Scientology, and because Miscavige does give it the vast majority of his attention, if you were a Scientologist, you would expect the area around FLAG, the town, the community, um, it should be the perfect example, or at least the best example possible, of the effects, the positive effects that a Scientology presence could have, if you're a Scientologist, should have, on a community. Um, Scientology has been in this town for over 30 years. Scientology is the single biggest property owner in Clearwater. Uh, the church claims that there are at least 10,000 Scientologists living in Clearwater. It's not true. Uh, the, the actual number of Scientologists living in the entire Tampa Bay area is not more than 5,000. Um, but if you are a Scientologist, and if you believe the best thing for the world would be for everybody to be Scientologists, then you would expect Clearwater to be a busy, bustling, successful city. After all, Scientology is all about prosperity. Um, but guess what? Clearwater is not a big, busy, bustling, successful city. Downtown Clearwater is a ghost town. Anybody who's been here can attest to this. You could stand right downtown on the, on the major intersection of the city, which is Fort Harrison Avenue and Cleveland Street. You could stand right downtown, eight o'clock at night on a Friday or on a Saturday, sometimes even just in the middle of the afternoon. And you could go you could go for, I don't know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes without seeing a single person on the streets for a quarter mile in any direction. 75% um, or somewhere thereabouts of the retail storefronts in this downtown district are completely vacant, just empty, no businesses there. Uh, it, it's actually kind of spooky. So, so you have this contradiction, at least within the world of Scientology. Scientology is supposed to be about, pros is supposed to be about prosperity, improving conditions, success, and yet the small town that it completely dominates is anything but. All right, so enter stage left. We have Tom Cruise moving to town, right? Who is David Miscavige's 
best buddy. And, um, and so because Tom's condo, his apartment, whatever, is gonna be right downtown, he's gonna be living right smack dab in the middle of this entire desolate business district where almost nobody goes and where most of the businesses have moved out. So David Miscavige has a problem, right? Clearwater is supposed to be an example of all the wonderful prosperity that Scientology can bring, that Scientology claims to bring about everywhere in these far-flung lands. Um, and yet Clearwater is not an example of that and his best buddy is going to be living right in the middle of it. This is a huge embarrassment to David Miscavige. And I don't think the city council understands how much Tom's impending arrival to Clearwater is dominating David Miscavige's decisions about what he's doing in Clearwater right now. Miscavige sees himself as the ultimate alpha dog. He sees Clearwater as his city. He thinks that the poor condition of Clearwater in the downtown area is gonna reflect poorly on him in Tom's eyes. Unless he steps up to handle it once and for all and does something about it, um, which as we'll get to, he's, he's about to try and do. Of course, he's gonna frame and he is framing um, his whole effort to revitalize downtown as he's having to step in and do the city's job for it. Like that's how he's sort of pitching this thing. Um, of course, that completely ignores the fact that Scientology's dominating presence in the downtown area is why the place is a ghost town in the first place. Um, so now that Tom's moving to town, Miscavige has to, and he will, figure out how to fix this downtown situation any way that he can. Not because he cares about Clearwater, but because he cares about impressing Tom Cruise. There is a strong precedent for this. I'm not just making this up. Um, about 13 years ago, uh, Tom... Uh, Tom told Miscavige, he said, uh, he, he told him how Tom was embarrassed to bring his VIP contacts into the churches of Scientology um, in New York and in London and in Madrid. Uh, this was when Tom was with Penelope Cruz. And uh, in response to that, just in response to a word from Tom Cruz about, you know, not being comfortable bringing his buddies into the church, uh, Miscavige spent tens and tens of millions of dollars to buy brand new buildings and fully renovate them top to bottom. In the case of the New York org, I don't think they bought a new building. I just think they completely renovated the one that they were in. Um, <laughs> buying these new buildings was not necessary. These organizations had not outgrown their premises. Um, the poor quality, I, I say poor quality. Um, the quality of these organizations, the fact that they were not up to Tom's standards. For the past 30 years, no one had had a problem with the quality of, of these organizations. It was just the fact that Tom mentioned it that Miscavige decided to invest a massive amount of treasure into making Tom happy. Okay, how does this affect Clearwater? Well, the city of Clearwater itself is in the middle of its own revitalization efforts to bring tourism and business back to Clearwater, not just in the downtown retail district, but also redeveloping um, the areas of land uh, on the water. I think they call it the bluff that overlooks the water um, to just make it more tourist friendly or to make it more to, to, to draw people into downtown Clearwater. Um, if you go, if, you, if you're in Clearwater, there's this strong feeling of like there's nothing to do and nowhere to go. Even though it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful area. There's just nothing happening and there's nothing to draw people in. So the city hired consultants and they did studies and they've spent millions of dollars to put a plan together. And they're finally about to execute their own plan. Okay. And the plan involves buying um, this one, uh, there's this one key piece of land that is, uh, it's next to Scientology's biggest center downtown. And it's a, it's a piece of land that the church has had its eye on for a while now. And the church has wanted to buy it. Now the church doesn't need it. They've just want to buy it. The church has been snapping up all kinds of land downtown, but the city actually needs it. It's part of their development efforts. Right. And so, um, and so just realize, so there's three things in motion here that, that relate to each other. You have the city's ongoing development efforts to bring tourism and business back to Clearwater, and which even by the city's own admission is like a 10-year plan. It's like a $55 million 10-year plan. You have Tom Cruise moving to Clearwater and the necessity that that creates for David Miscavige to do something now to try and revive downtown Clearwater um, and around the area where Tom's going to be living. And then the third thing, which seems kind of random, but it's not, is this plot of land overlooking the city, uh, overlooking the water, that the city needs what the church wants. All right. So why wouldn't Miscavige just let the city move forward with its own plans to revitalize tourism and business? There's several reasons. The first reason it's going to take too long. Miscavige is about everything doing now, 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 now. Plus Tom is moving to town. He doesn't have 10 years to make clear water look nice. Also Miscavige knows full well that the reason the business has moved out of downtown Clearwater 
is the dominating presence of Scientology and the Sea Org members who work at FLAG. There's somewhere between one and 2,000 Sea Org members who work at FLAG. They all wear the same uniforms. It's weird. If you're a Scientologist, it's not weird. If you're a Sea Org member, it's not weird. If you're just a Joe Schmo tourist or just a local person who lives in the area, it's really creepy to be downtown where 1,000 to 2,000 people are walking around all wearing the same outfit, right? Plus the Sea Org members, they don't, they don't talk to people. They're not downtown smelling the roses. They're not particularly friendly to non-Scientologists. They're not rude, but they're not friendly. They're not engaging, right? They're intimidating. They're not fostering relationships with the local non-Scientologists. It's just not how Sea Org members operate. They're always running around from place to place. They're not making eye contact. They don't have downtime. They don't feel like normal people, right? They're like on a mission. <laughs> they're like, okay, I won't get into it. Okay, another reason. Um, David Miscavige does not want non-Scientologists in downtown Clearwater. This cannot be overstated, okay? Um, if the, the, the city's efforts to revitalize downtown and bring more people to downtown is directly contrary to Miscavige's efforts to keep non-Scientologists out of downtown. The more non-Scientologists come to the downtown area, the more of a security threat the church feels that it is. They don't want people harassing Sea members. They don't want people trying to walk into church buildings. They don't want people talking about Xenu. They don't want people talking about the OT levels. Um, it's a problem. And so because Tom is moving to town, Miscavige uh, needs to move on a much faster timeline uh, than the city's prepared to do so. So what is Miscavige to do? Well, just a week before the city uh, was going to hold its vote to officially approve the purchase of this piece of land that we've been talking about, um, Miscavige made private presentations, one-on-one -on -one presentations, um, and he did this to avoid the requirement to make a public presentation to the city council. He called the individual city council members and the mayor of Clearwater to the flag building, and he gave them individual presentations about this whole huge plan that he has to completely renovate the entire downtown retail district, renovate the facades of all the businesses, um, uh, redo the streets and the landscaping and the engineering, I think. Um, and, and pitched the idea of that he would personally, that he personally and the church would recruit the businesses and the business owners, um, some national retailers to anchor the area and, and sort of slam dunk this entire downtown retail district all in one fell swoop. Kind of like if you were um, just going to open a giant outdoor mall or, you know, you wouldn't like open part of the mall at a time. You'd open it all at the same time. And, um, and he offered to completely fund it 100% except there was a catch. He said, this is what we want to do for the city of Clearwater. We really think that we can pull this off. But we're only going to do this if you let us have this piece of land that, that you so desperately need for your redevelopment efforts. <laughs> Why would he do this, right? Um, it, it, on, on the surface, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so you're probably going to pay $10 million for the land itself. Um, or $5 million, why would you do a $50 million plan just so that the city would give you this $5 million piece of land that, that the city itself also wants? I don't think the city council understands that Miscavige is only doing the downtown renovations for Tom Cruise. He's not doing it for the city. He's not doing it for the local Scientologists. He's not doing it to bring non-Scientologists back to the downtown area. He's doing it for Tom Cruise. Miscavige is taking a plan that he already fully intends to execute for his best buddy, Tom, and he's trying to leverage the plan into further property acquisition by making the city council believe that all of the money Miscavige is about to dump into downtown Clearwater will only happen if the city cedes this property to the church. My message to this city council is simple. Don't fall for it. Miscavige is bluffing. He's going to do the downtown renovations no matter what. There's no reason to give up your prime waterfront property to the church in some bogus quid pro quo that Miscavige is dangling in front of your faces. It's bullshit. I'm not against this plan of the church slam dunking a downtown district into place. I, I'm really not. I've, I've looked at it from all angles and um, I can appreciate what the city is trying to do. Um, but the truth is businesses have opened and closed in the downtown area because there's not enough economic activity down there just from the Scientologists to keep businesses open. Um, I'm not saying the city shouldn't try to do what it's doing as well. I want the city to move forward as well. 
but I'm not against what the church is proposing. Um, I live in Clearwater. I live three minutes from downtown. Uh, oh, by the way, as a part of this proposal, Miscavige told the city council that um, he and Tom Cruise, or the church and Tom Cruise, the church is David Miscavige, let's be real, um, are going in on partners to develop this, this giant entertainment complex and movie theater, uh, that, you know, an entertainment complex that would include a movie theater right downtown. That's kind of amazing. I, for, for, for 10 years, I've been wondering why Clearwater doesn't have movie theaters. Um, so anyway, it, it could be a good thing, but the city needs to understand that the leverage that Miscavige is trying to use right now to squeeze prime waterfront property out of the city's hands is total BS, and the city should move forward with its own plans, and it should acquire this land that it needs and, and, and not back off on that. That's my two cents. Uh, for anyone with ties to the city council, please do pass this video along, and maybe it'll help. Um, and that would be wonderful. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.